In this video, we're going to look at the standard normal distribution Z table for Z scores and areas to the left of the Z number. So here is a normal curve. There's the Z score. And the, what this tab table does is provides the area to the left of that Z score. So for example, if you had um, Z score of 1.28, and we want to find the area to the left, basically we go back to our table and we look at Z, this will be the 1.2, we find the first decimal. So I scroll down and find 1.2, and then we go to the 8, 1.28. Well, if you scroll back up at the top, you can see the 0, 0, 0, 1. So this would be 1.21, because the 2 from here goes in this place. This is the third decimal, that's what this means. So 8 would be, 1.28 would be this column. I go down to 1.2 in this column, which would be this right here. 1.28 would be 0.8997. That is the area to the left of 1.28. 0.8997. Okay? Now finding the area to the right of a number. Let's look at a z-score of negative 1.30. So I do the same thing. I find negative 1.30. So here's a negative 1.3, and 0 would be the first column, right, the third digit. Now this is to the left. This is always to the left. So if you want to find to the right, to find the area to the right, we take 1 minus the area to the left. So it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.0968, 0.0968. Nine six eight, and that would be point nine zero three two. So this would be the area to the right of something with a z score of minus one point three zero. Okay, now let's go to you. You have the area to the left of some z score is zero point eight four three eight, and then you want to know what the z score is. Well, you can go to the table, and you find, and now you're going to look at the area, 0.8438. It's to the left. So I go to, and look at the table, and I'm trying to find 0.8438. And I look up, and I find it right there, 0.8438. And now I go back to the z-score, which would be 1.0, and then what column is it in? It's in the 1. So it would be 1.01. .01. This would be a z-score of 1.01. .01. Now, the area to the right of a z-score is 0 0.075. What is the z-score? So there are two ways of doing this problem. You can take 1 minus this number and then find that, because this is to the right, so 1 minus this would be to the left. Or find this value on the left for, in the table, and it'll show you to the left. And then since uh, the normal curve is symmetric, it'll be the opposite z-score value. So let's do that. I'll show you. 0 0.075. I go to the table. I find 0 0.0749 is actually the closest I can find. And since it's just off by that small amount, I can use that. Sometimes they might be in the middle, and then you would take a middle value, like 0 0.05. But here I'll just use this value. Now it's minus 1.401234. So minus 1.44 is what this value is. But that's to the left, and I wanted it to the right. So I should go to 1.44. Find 1.44, and that would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, this one right here. So 1.44 is the answer. So let's, let's show that 1 minus 0 0.075 is equal to 0 0.925, and then show that that's 1.44. So 0 0.1, 0 0.925 is what we should be looking for. That will give us the area, and that's what I find. 0 0.9251 is the area corresponding to the right of that value, and that would be 1.44 again. So there's two ways of doing it, either finding the initial like I did here, and then taking the opposite z-score, 
or doing the one minus and finding this and then finding that z-score. All right, that's how you use the z-score uh, normal t standard table for z-scores and areas.